Hey guys, this is Gloria. I am back to share with you guys um, some finds that I was able to pick up at Goodwill as well as The Bridge, which is a thrift store in my area, as well as Hobby Lobby. So first thing that I'll show you are um, these two stars that I picked up from Goodwill. And these are originally from Target. They were 99 cent each at Goodwill. Um, I'm not sure they probably were three dollars at um, I don't know they're probably three dollars at um, Target but I picked these up because when I saw them I immediately thought about a Christmas shadow box and you know make it really shabby chic so I went on and picked up two although they had a bunch of them um, they even had the ones with like, with like the American flag and all that stuff but I only picked up two white ones to um, try to do a project with those. The other thing that I picked up from the Goodwill was a basket and I plan to use the basket for a sewing basket. Um, I can't get it in frame, it was $3.99, um, but I will insert a picture right here. So that is the basket that I was able to pick up from um, Goodwill. And like I said, I plan to use that as a um, as a sewing box to keep like my sewing supplies and different things like that inside of. Um, so next I'll share um, what I picked up at The Bridge. And like I always say, The Bridge is a, a thrift store in our area that has a teen center that sponsors the teen center. So I love going there and checking out what they have and um, you know it benefits it's a great cause um, when you shop there so I love going there but I did pick up this ribbon it was 65 cent and it looks like this is super cute it has um, strawberries on it and it is like a light blue with strawberries and vines on it and so what I did with it it's a pretty stiff fabric um, ribbon it's really weird kind of feeling but it's okay um what i did with it was i made my own bias tape by folding it in half and then folding the, the sides in and i plan to use this on the project coming up soon so um hopefully i'll have that for you guys very soon but that is what um, i'm doing with that so far and i love that it's like a vintage kind of um fabric or ribbon that you can use on your projects um, the next things that I picked up from the grid um, was this crimping tool. And I have a bunch of crimping tools, but this one was $0.75 cent and it's smaller and it makes smaller crimps. So I went on and picked that up for $0.75. Cent. And then I also picked up a bunch of um, seam bindings. And seam bindings, um, you know, depending on where you get them from, sometimes they can be sort of expensive, but... These were only 25 cents, so I went on and picked that up, and I didn't even realize that this was a, I don't know, this one looks more like a hem tape than a seam binding, but that's okay. Um, it was only 25 cents, so this one is in black. I pick up picked up this one in the yellow color. Um, this one here, it's like a dark chocolate brown. I thought this was so cute. This one is a um, bias fold tape, um, and it's in red. Look at the little image. <laughs> so cute. Um, this is seam binding in like this pretty um, uh, <coughs> light green color. They call it Nile, but it's really pretty. I did pick up the natural. You could definitely um, ink this up and, you know, make it whatever color you want. And I think all of them have three yards. Um, I picked up the orange because, um, you know, you may need that for Halloween projects or something like that. I picked up this kind of faded, kind of bluish color, um, three yards on that. That one was 25 cents as well. And then I picked up this other white bias tape as well to use on the project, and this was 25 cents. So those are the things that I picked up from the, uh-oh, sorry guys, that I picked up from the bridge. Um, I think I got a few more things, yep. So I also picked up this fabric. And I thought it was a very pretty country kind of, uh, you know, check type pattern. But this is just fabric and it was only a dollar. I'm not sure exactly how much this is. It may be a yard, 
maybe a little less, but um, for a dollar, can't beat it. And then I also picked up this one. Now, this one is a pink and white polka dot, and this one is definitely more than a yard. It might be two yards, but this one was $2.50, but it's definitely more than this one right here. So I picked up those pieces of material. And then I also, they, they are having um, Christmas in July. Um, so the entire month of July, their Christmas stuff is 50% off. So I picked up these wooden skates with this red um, cord in there. I plan to maybe change this cord to either white or paint. Um, and I may even do like a wash on top of the wood skates. But the wood skates were $1.50, so I paid 75 cents for them. So that, I believe, is all that I picked up from the bridge. So then I ran over to, uh, oh, I also went to Joanne. I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to Joanne. And so I went to Joanne because I wanted to pick up this um, vinyl. And this one is the yellow vinyl. I only picked up a, um, a half a yard of each and it cost me $2.10 for half of a yard. And I also picked it up in this kind of pink color and it's folded on top of itself. So it's coming across as being darker, but it's really not that dark. That's what it looks like in the pink color and then the yellow color, but I plan to use these for some more pouches that I wanna make. So got those two and I thought it was kind of cool to have different colors. I also picked up this gorgeous fabric. Now, um, if you guys are not aware, um, you know, Joanne has like the little remnant section. And so I saw this in the remnant section and I was surprised to see how much this actually was to begin with. Um, this fabric is $39.99 a yard. Um, it does come in blue and it also comes in a different color. I can't remember what the third, I, I think it's like a gray color or something and it comes in this pink. Well, they didn't have any more of this pink left at all and this is all that I found, but I thought I could probably still do a project or something with it. It's only 0.417 of a yard, um, so not quite half a yard, um, but it says that it's 1667. When I took this up to the register, this rang up for $2.10. Um, the remnants were an additional 25% off, and I'm not sure how they do this in their system, but if it's on sale, then they use the sale price plus the 25% off. So anyway, almost a half a yard, and it came up to $2.10 instead of, um, you know, $39.99 would be 20 bucks. Um, but no, I'm sorry, it was 60% um, off. So it had been a little bit less than $20, probably um, about $15.99, something like that. Um, but it was cheaper than that because it's only half a yard. And then, like I said, after all the discounts, it came out to be $2.10. And it is a beautiful embroidered um, pink material. So, so pretty. So I was happy that I got that and took it up to the counter to figure out what the price of it was. Um, so then... I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up a few things. Their ribbon is 50% off, so I picked up this one. This one, everybody has probably seen this before. It's by Merchant 41. It's a pink floral um, trim and it's so pretty to make um, your ribbons and different things with. So I went on and picked that up while it was half off. Um, so it came up to be $3.50. Um, they also had um, these Soology all-purpose scissors for 49 cent. Um, I only picked up one and now I'm like, I should have probably picked up at least two pair. Um, this lady that was behind me, I swear guys, she picked up all of them. When I say she had like about 10 packs of these scissors, I don't know what she was gonna do with them, but she picked up all of them and she purchased all of them. So if you're out in my area and you go to um, Orland, you probably won't find these. You may have to go to Tinley. Um, I also picked up this ribbon. I just thought it was super pretty and I believe I bought this before, but it is like the little black and white check, but it has like a embroidered edge on both of the sides. So I thought that was really pretty. This one was regular $3.99, so it was $2. Um, I also picked up this. This was my first time seeing this particular um, ribbon there. It's regular $3.99. It looks like this. It's like a gold ribbon, but it is more like a um a vinyl um and that's why i went on and picked it up because i was thinking 
you know, it would look cute on projects. I'm trying to open it for you guys, but, um, okay, let's see. Maybe I can get it open. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, very difficult to get open. But, um, yeah, the back side is more like a vinyl. And um, so I thought that was pretty cool for $2. I wanted to go ahead and try that out. So I picked that up. Um, and actually what I went for, um, oh, going back real quick to Joanne. I did pick these up and these are the snaps. But these snaps are um, heart-shaped. I don't know if you, you know, the top parts of them are heart-shaped. There's one right there in the corner right over there. Um, but I thought that was so cute to be heart shaped little snaps, plastic snaps. But I also picked up, um, like about a week or two ago, I picked up this thing that I thought that I could use to do the plastic snaps, but come to find out, oh, it was this thing right here, but it doesn't work for the plastic snaps. It works for the metal snaps. So I went on and picked up the baby veal, um, boutique snap pliers and they were regular. $19.99. You do get um, the different attachments in order to do different size snaps, but this is for the plastic snaps, and um, I got it for $12 because I used the 40% off coupon. So, um, I think, yep, that is about it. Oh, one more thing from the bridge. Sorry. Picked up these little sequins. I thought this would be really pretty with the um, Maggie Holmes Flourish, I believe, that collection, because it has that kind of darker green in it. Um, so I plan to kind of mix this with um, some other colors in order to make a little mix for that particular um, collection. So it was 35 cents. So that is about it. That is all that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, when you're watching this, I'll probably be on vacation. So I will catch you when I get back. I hope everybody is having a great day. And as always, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.